Hello, people of Arsons. Welcome back to Microcraft TV. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, but I wanted to uh, return to that. I had just been super busy with school and work and everything. But I'm back now, and I'm starting off strong with a game uh, from Mojang, actually, the makers of Minecraft. It's a collectible card game. Their new game called Scrolls. It's currently in beta. You can buy it on their website, uh, mojang.com, or I believe um, it's $20 USD. And it seems pretty solid at the moment um, for being in beta. I like it a lot. I've played a little bit of it. I'm not great, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to play it today. Uh, so here I have my starter deck. Uh, this is the deck builder. You can. Uh, there are three decks to start off with. There are the energy uh, pre-constructed deck, the growth pre-constructed deck, and the order deck. Uh, these decks each have different... Um, different units, different ways that they work. Order is supposed to be kind of uh, all of your units work together. Energy is kind of slow but hard-hitting attackers. And growth is uh, weak units at the start, but they get better over time. And uh, up here you can see that these are the ways that you can get new cards. You buy it with in-game in gold that you get from winning. Um, and it's exclusive to that. You don't have to ever um, buy cards with uh, real money if you don't want to. So it's sort of a lol model, except they do charge you up front with a $20 purchase for the game. Um, but that's still, for, a, for a, you know, a new game, that's pretty cheap. You can also buy shards, which are uh, how they make most of their money, I would assume, which allows you to buy... Um, cosmetic items and certain cards that are on sale. I guess these are cards that maybe benefit your deck or something. Because um, it says just for you. I don't know. That's just a guess though. Scroll pack. Ten scrolls randomly selected from different factions. Uh, I'll show you how this works. You can click on this and read these. And then you can buy. When Sister of the Fox comes into play, draw one scroll. Okay, so that's how that works, and now I have a new scroll. Uh, I think it's probably been added to my deck automatically. Yes, you can see here, this is how many uh, different types of cards you have. The growth, uh, energy, and order. I have 51, gro 51 energy and one growth. Uh, this is the card that I just bought. It even gives you a little in-game model here. Um, but enough of that, let's get straight into a game. Um, you know what, uh, I'm going to do a quick match with the AI on a medium difficulty. I'm not that good yet, but I can still show you the basics and uh, show you how to work things out. So you start off with five cards, and as you can see, there's little cogs up there. And um, what you actually want to do is you want to sacrifice a card to start out with, and that'll give you energy so that you can play more cards. Um, this is sort of a crappy card from what I've seen. You can attach it to a structure and it'll deal damage to the attacker. I don't like that much, so I'm going to sacrifice it. As you can see here, there's a playing field. You can set down uh, cards. Some are structures like this one. This one is a wall, um, as you can see. And then there's some like this, which is a scatter gunner, which is a unit. And these attack. Um, and they can move around. I think units are the only ones that can attack uh, these idols, which are how you win the game. If you destroy three idols, uh, your opponent loses and you win. Um, we're also going to destroy Inferno Blast. Oh, I can't actually. Um, well, I guess we're going to throw down a wall then. So that's what the wall looks like, and you can see it's got four health, no attack and neutral turns, uh, your units attack automatically at, over a period of time, and that is their turns. And you can end your turn by clicking that hourglass down there. Uh, this is a copper automaton. Uh, it destroys buildings pretty easily. It does four damage and it kills itself when it attacks. So it's pretty dangerous. Luckily for me, uh, I have something that can save my building. I think I'm probably going to use that because it'll come in handy later on. I'm going to get rid of this Inferno Blast spell because I don't think it's that useful. 
and then I'm going to use plating on that. So uh, this tick automatically attacks. Um, there's no choice, and it kills itself when it's done. So when it attacks this building, it's going to uh, it's going to die. Except I forgot that they can move, so that's kind of a bad idea on my part. I thought that they could not move right off the bat, but I guess I was wrong, so. Um, so we've got three more cards here. Um, all units secrete their cooldown by one. That's pretty good, but right now uh, it's not useful to me at all, and these guys are kind of threatening me. So I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to get myself, uh, I think I'm going to get myself a goo gunner. This is an area of effect catapult, more or less, a mortar, if you will, and it does damage in these four squares here. These guys don't have much health, but they do attack pretty quickly, um, every one turn, I believe, so they're pretty annoying. What he just used was the Inferno Blast spell that I discarded earlier that deals damage to all areas around one tile. So he hit uh, my wall and my catapult gunner, or my catapult gooer. Catapult of goo. Uh, so let's see. I would like now to, uh, this is, you can discard one card for two cards, for two new cards. It's pretty good, um, but the tick bomb spell automatically destroys a target structure, which can be really useful. So I think instead of that, I am just going to summon my Scatter Gunner, which does a lot of damage, and it's ranged, so it can attack from anywhere. <clears throat> you can see that they can move their creatures around. Uh, he's dealing damage to my towers. I'm not too worried about that, because uh, that can... I'm not too worried about that, because that can... Um, they've got a lot of life, and you can do things to... Um, I mean, sometimes you just need to sacrifice them so that you can get better uh, positioning and that sort of thing. So this is the Tool Initiate. It um, When Tool Initiate's countdown is zero, you may increase its countdown by one to increase a target attack structure. Target? Tar blah, blah, blah. Countdown by one to increase target structure's attack by one. Uh, this is extremely good, especially for Goo Gunners, which I believe have pretty short cooldown. You can keep increasing their attack if you'd like. Um, and then you've got a fast attacking, low cost, low um, low uh, attack speed, or fast attack speed rather, low countdown timer. Uh, which makes it pretty dangerous, but I would like to use it to get rid of, to help get rid of one of these guys. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put him down there. He can take three hits from these Gravelock Raiders. And when he hits, he'll kill them instantly because he does two damage and they only have two left. And that's the goo bomb there. You can see it's countdown reached zero, so it attacked. Uh, got another one here. Post that up. Um, a little under turn there. That, you can see, is the Scatter Gunner. He deals quite a bit of damage. This is a Cannon Automaton. This is a really dangerous unit. Um, as you can see, I do believe, yeah, it's, it's a creature, so you can't hurt it with Tick Bomb. Um, opponent's structures take three damage. Gonna get rid of that for two new cards. Um, I'm going to throw down a wall here, and then I'm going to rig it. So if this structure attacks, it's actually going to um, attack this wall and kills it. It's going to blow up my trap card, which is going to destroy the cannon automaton. So that's a pretty, pretty good situation to put myself in there. There you can see my tool initiate attacking. These guys are really dangerous. Um, the machine priests, they can move your buildings around. Um, and they heal target structures, so those are very, very uh, hard to deal with. Um, I really need to draw some cards here, so... Let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna deal damage to all those guys. I'm killing one of them, which helps me out. My Kano Automaton is doing some good damage here. Spark. Uh, Spark's just a target. Yeah, two, two deals two damage spell, which is pretty uh, risky. Um, apparently, my trap didn't work. I don't know how that ends up happening. Um, that was really stupid, but whatever. Okay, so let's see here. I could destroy that, but I'm going to save that. That thing's pretty useful. I do need more energy, though. I think I'm going to have to sacrifice that for some more energy, and then I'm going to throw down another uh, scatter gunner. Let's see here. Going to increase the attack of that guy. Give me another turn there. So he, he can heal there, and he can move other people's units. That's what he did right there. This is also a Hell Spitter Mortar. It's a very dangerous unit. Um, it fires randomly, but it deals quite a bit of damage. I'm kind of in a bad position here because this Raider isn't going to help me a whole lot in terms of defense. Um, and he, I believe he's going to attack next turn. I think that's how that works. That one turns to a zero and then it attacks. Um, We'll see about that, though. Three health. He can actually kill my Gravelock and my uh, and my Mortar in one hit. But I think it'd be worthwhile to put it down there. Uh, because then I think my Scatter Gunner can still attack. Um, does he attack next turn? He'd attack this turn. Let's see. Can I move this? No, I can't. You can't move structures. Hmm. We're going to increase his attack and see if that helps out later on. So he did, he sacrificed scrolls to get more units out on the field. Um, yeah, he did take out my one of my mortars, which is kind of painful. All units with ranged or labra attacks have their countdown decreased by two. Uh, it's a decent card, but not worthwhile enough for me to keep it. The question is, do I want to get two new cards or sacrifice it for more energy. I really do need more energy so that I can play this cannon and automaton. Uh, it's a very good unit as you've seen here. He's going to be able to do a little bit of damage to it um, but the next, uh, well depending on if he moves it or not we shall see here in a second. So let's just end our turn here. Let's see how that works out. Um, I guess he has some armor. Oh, cannon automatons have damage or dealt uh, to them by one, which is really good. Uh, as you can see there, he must have used a card that reduced... Yeah, he used Fury, which is extremely dangerous. It reduces all cooldown, all units' uh, cooldowns by one, including mine, um, but it's still a pretty dangerous card there. Gravelock Outcast. Pay one growth to heal Gravelock Outcast to full health. Um, that seems okay. Uh, but it's not as great as it could be. And I really need to play this Cannon Automaton at some point, so I'm going to get that out on the field now. Tick Bomb, that's dangerous. Well, now I'm in a really, really bad position. Um... And there's really nothing I could have done there. I don't... Uh, I can use Concentrated Fire here, and that's going to be able to destroy a lot of stuff, but... This will be able to destroy my gun automaton, I think. I do need more units now on the field though i think it'd be worthwhile to sacrifice this uh this tower to make sure that my cannon automaton doesn't die so that's what i'm gonna do uh the gravelock elder other gravelock creatures you control gain plus one attack and plus one health while gravelock elder is in play 
and I do need him on the field. Um, he has a two countdown, so I'm going to put him out there. He can maybe uh, get rid of this guy for me, which would be really, really helpful at some point. Um, Well, that tick isn't going to kill him, but it could certainly do a lot of damage. He's still healing stuff over here. What did I get? Uh, Ether Pump is pretty good. It takes three turns, and then it deals one damage to all of enemy units. Um, so it's not bad, but at the same time, it's not great. I can kill this Automaton, though, which lets me draw a card. I'm also going to use that, because uh, I don't want him to take any damage at all. He's one of my best units right now. Um, well, he's my only unit right now. I'm still going to have to take some damage, though, because he was smart and he moved that, uh, that gun automaton down there. Although now I have a grave lock, which is super helpful. So we're going to throw him out on the field. Get rid of concentrated effect for two new cards. Deal two points of damage. Um, let's see here. Who's going to attack next? Um, throw him out. And we'll save that Bonds card for later. That's the animation you get when you kill a... Uh, you kill an idol, and you also saw that I got 10 gold there. That goes back into my account so that I can buy cards later. This guy is still healing units, and that's being a pain in my butt. This is the Iron Ogre. And this guy is a straight baller. You can see he's got 7 attacks, 7 life. Crazy good. And we're definitely going to get him out on the field as soon as possible, which is going to be this turn. Uh, let's see, where could I... We'll toss him out here. Um, he barely takes any damage from uh, catapults and that sort of thing. Also, the Relentless um, means that if you attack in a, a blocking unit like this one, he'll just keep going straight through. So if damage, he'd kill this guy for three points, then he'd kill this guy for three points, and then he'd still hit the idol for one point if it was in this lane and this uh, idol still had health, which is awesome. Um, so let's see here. As cool as this, uh, ether pump is, well, I'm hesitant to sacrifice it because it's pretty damn good. Uh, let's get him out on the field, actually, try and get him down. And then I'll use cast, which decreases all of my cooldowns. Um, hopefully that can help me out. Hopefully I can get that golem attacking as soon as possible because he's, he's going to do a ton of damage. Uh, he sacrificed for some scrolls. It looks like he got Spark, which was okay. Um, he's still dealing damage over here. Destroyed one of my turrets there. Uh, I do kind of want to get rid of something over here, so we're going to place that Copper Atonimentan down. I probably should have sacrificed it for two extra scrolls, but... He's, uh, he can be pretty feisty, so let's see if that helps out. The medium AI is surprisingly... Ah, oh, shit, I forgot that... Wait, no, he only does one damage. I don't get how that worked. Whatever, we'll sacrifice that, try and get two new things. He's gonna attack this round, which is gonna be amazing. Um, get that wall out. Make sure that he doesn't die somehow. I'm gonna... As you can see there, uh, that was the ether pump dealing damage to everybody on the field. Um, then that was them attacking my wall. He took no damage because I had that shield on, and now we have a gun automaton. Hmm. I think I'm gonna sacrifice for two cards there. Hope for the best, and indeed, I uh, got lucky there. Now I can summon something else. This is a destroyer. It's another artillery. Um, it, this one is just a low attack time with a decent amount of damage and a decent amount of health, which is pretty cool. 
Um, this Ember Bonds deals damage to an attacker, and you can cast it on enemy units. So I'm going to cast it on this guy, so the next time he attacks, he's going to die. I probably should have... Oh, crap. Why well, did not... Uh, that enchantment should have worked. I don't know why it didn't. Um, I'm wondering, that's happened to me before with a different card, and I'm wondering if there's some rule I don't know about, or whether it's a bug. The game is still in beta, um, so it's possible that you could be running into some bugs here, but let's take a chance and get two new cards. Um, does this count as a lob? No, it counts as a totem. It's not ranged. This is ranged, though. But that's about to attack next round. Spark does two damage, so let's get rid of that son of a gun. And we'll save that Bombard card for whatever I might be able to use it for. There you can see that Bombarder, that artillery dealing some damage. Um, that Goo Gunner is moving around so that it can deal, try to deal some damage. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this Bombard for two new guns. Get that gun automaton out on the field. Uh, yeah, I want to do that. And then get a catapult out on the field. I really want to get rid of this machine priest since he can move my buildings around. He's kind of a pain in the butt. I think I will this round, actually. Yep, got rid of him. So that's that helps a lot. And there goes my totem, which is... Uh, dealing damage to everybody. This is uh, the Hell Spitter Mortar that was playing earlier. I'm hesitant to hit him because he's a structure. There are a lot of spells that can kill him instantly, which is a really big pain in my butt. Um, so I'm actually, as silly as it sounds, I'm gonna get rid of him, but it's gonna help in the long run, I think. Uh, where does he hit? He hits these four squares here. Let's see, I'm going to pop him up here, which I think is going to help quite a bit. I probably uh, should have moved one of these catapults, but it's easy to forget about, that, uh, forget about the fact that you can move units around. So definitely don't forget that. It's, uh, that's a big part of the gameplay. Metal Heart. Ten. I have just the one structure. Oh no, I have two structures on the field. And then I also have the burn spell, which allows me to deal three damage to a target unit. Uh, and destroy them and get a card. So let's see. Sacrifice all your structures. Uh, that's too many eggs in one basket, as they may say. As they may say. Um, you're kind of hoping that your unit will be able to stay alive long enough to benefit from that health and damage, which often is probably not going to be the case. Um, he doesn't attack next turn. Plating. Hmm, burn. I should destroy something, I think. I'm gonna get rid of that goo gunner, because he's a pain. And I don't know what this guy has planned up his sleeve, so I'm gonna heal him. Under turn there. Okay, that was, that was an alright move. He deals four damage, so I'm gonna move him there. He's gonna blow up the cannon and automaton in his turn. Let us let's get rid of this searing card. Gravelock outcast. Yeah, he's just kind of an all-purpose unit, but he seems alright, so I'm gonna put him into play here. Let's see here. I'm gonna try and damage all those cards there. Oh, I, I always forget about that. Uh, 
he reduces the damage dealt to him. There's another catapult. Uh, another wall. He threw down Inferno Blast, which is painful there. Uh, another problem with this guy is that he heals all the structures, but what are you going to do? All units with ranked or lava attacks have their cooldown decreased by two. That would allow me to fire first if I played this bombard spell. Um, uh, I'm going to get rid of metal hearts. I'm actually going to be able to use Inferno Blast here to take out um, the Cannon Autonomaton, which is awesome. That opens up this idol for attack, which would actually destroy it. And then, let's throw down a Gun Autonomaton, which will do enough damage to destroy this idol. And let's cover him in plating, just in case. End our turn there. Got a Gravelock Raider. I don't think he's going to be able to stop this. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of this rigged card. Let's see what that can get me. Gets me another metal heart and another catapult of goo. Is there any way I can destroy this guy? No. Oh. Let's throw that down. How many how many equal to Okay, the metal heart gives attack damage equal to the number of friendly structures until the end of the turn. So if you counter structures, we've got one, two, three, uh, and that's it. We've got three, so that would give him eight damage. I was thinking if I had enough to get ten damage, I would just move this guy up here and destroy that idol. That's not the case. If I do play Bombard, that allows all of my structures to attack this turn. Um, so I can't remember. If the Goo Gunner fires first, he'll actually kill... The Machine Priest, which allows my Cannon Autonomaton to fire, which will destroy this idol. And it'll also allow my Gun Autonomaton to fire, which will destroy this idol, and I'll win. Uh, so if this Cannon Autonomaton fires, I should win this turn. Um, but I'm not sure who fires first. That should be game. One. And that's game. Alright. So, I mean, it's a pretty simple game, but it's a lot of fun. Um... I shouldn't actually, it's not simple at all. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You saw those like processes going through my head in that last uh, last move there. Um, so it's definitely a uh, complicated game. That's <laughs> the exact antonym I was looking for there. Um, but it's a lot of fun. So I, I recommend you guys check it out. It's $20. Um, you can get cards for real money, but you can also play for free. Just like League of Legends and Champions if you're into that sort of thing. So... Uh, if you're into card games, check it out, guys. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if this helped you out or if you just enjoyed it at all. I really, really appreciate it, and it helps me out so much. So thank you, thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!